Stumbled into a scenario where you have to seam casino carpet patterned to a regular residential pattern carpet. This is the video for you. What's cracking? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. And before we get into the content piece of this, breaking it all down, I want to remind you that if you want to start a side hustle doing simple carpet repairs, earning $75 to $125 per hour, stop by carpetrepaircheatcode.com link directly below this video and every single Sunday we pick a random winner and send them a electric stapler let's get into this though you see me peel that back that we were pulling that old funky seam tape off of there and I know you're wondering this carpet's been down for 17 years the carpet we're installing in the other room that I'm standing on top of that has been down for 17 years as well. We took it out of an unused room and installed it in this movie theater room. And now we got to seam these two pieces together. This is a wild scenario for the elite wealthy in Northeast Ohio. So we pulled the seam tape off. We threw a nice fresh edge on it, cut it a little bit wonky there. And you could always use a straight edge to get a nice clean cut. Me, I love to freestyle everything. And sometimes when you freestyle, players mess up. So you just got to recut it and keep it nice and clean. So we're going to work our way across here, try to get a nice clean edge on this. So when we seam the two together, we're not going to have a hot mess of fuzzies, but to cut to the front of the line, just go ahead and drop a straight edge on it. Trace it out with your blade. Make sure the blade is super sharp and you will have a nice clean seam edge to work with. Let me get ourselves to the other end here. We're going to drop that down to see how that looks in the doorway. And I think I had to shave one more little spot on that to get it all beautiful. How we looking? We're looking good. All right. Let's go ahead and get that one little line there that was just totally annoying me. Straighten everything out. Take that across. Boom, boom. This was from the Mirage Hotels in Las Vegas overstock. Some of the, you know, connected people were like, yo, ship me that extra. They shipped it out and they put it down in their basement there with the pool room and the cool posters and all that fun stuff. So, all right, we are looking real good. Let's go ahead and swap that blade out. Now, you blades cannot be sharp enough, but also watch those fingertips because it's so easy to lob those off, especially if you're DIY type, you're not used to working with these. And we are just going to run this blade right along that edge all the way down. Just do a freestyle cut, tracing it out. And when we're done, we're going to throw some seam tape under that and get these two stuck together. So we went all the way through fast, quick, and easy. I'm going to fold that back, cut that little bit off there. I'm going to go over here, cut that little bit off there. All right. It looks like we are in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and get the seam tape. We're gonna roll that from door jam to door jam, tear off the excess, and we're gonna have about four inches collectively extra on that seam tape. The reason we're doing it, we wanna fold it under at each end to sit it on top of the little pieces of tack strip in the doorway there, and that's gonna bump it up just enough to get a nice even burn from the seam iron. So we're gonna take our seam iron, start at the door side, so when you go to pull it out, it doesn't bump into the door and it messes up that last two to four inches of the seam. So we start at that end, let it sit there for a good 10-ish seconds or so. Make sure that glue's burning up. And then we're going to go ahead and pinch the ends. And we're going to slide that iron and iron's length forward. Just slow burn all the way across. We're going to put that part together. Blend it in. A couple different tools you could use for that. We're just going to use our fingertips on this because that's how we get down. Then we're going to go ahead and tuck it right at the door so it holds down in that glue. We know we're good to go. Slide it in iron's length forward again. Blend that part in with your fingertips. Oh, that's looking good. That's looking real good. We're almost at the finish line, y'all. I'm going to slide that up a little more. Blend that part in. And then let the final part cook for a good 10 seconds. We're going to slide that iron out with a good swoop action because we don't want the seam tape to come with it and get glue on everything. So make sure you pay attention to that part here. Watch how we swoop that. See that? Swoop. That's it. Put that final part of the seam together. You're going to go ahead and tuck everything in and clackety clack. That's all there is to it. Once it dries, you could stretch away from it to be good to go. And you just completed your seam. Check out those resources below. And thank you for checking this out.